Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 1st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Listen Closely. And our scripture is Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 1, and chapter 2, verse 1. On July 31 of my 30th year, while I was with the Judean exiles beside the Kabar River in Babylon, the heavens were opened and I saw visions of God. Stand up, son of man, said the voice. I want to speak with you. Ezekiel was 30 years old and he heard the voice telling him to snap to attention. He was about to hear something important. In my mind's eye, I can see Ezekiel jumping to his feet to listen closely as if his father had just called him by his full name. I know that voice. It sounds just like my mother when she used my full name. Russell J. Brownworth, pay attention. My mother never took me to the woodshed. We didn't have one, but you know what that means. There were times to push the envelope and seeing how much extra time you could get playing outside, and there were times to stand up and be quiet, or as we like to call it, listen or die. This was one of those times for Ezekiel. When the voice of an angel speaks, humans need to snap to attention. Angels are messengers, and that's the strictest sense of what the name implies, God's messengers. They have no message of their own. They're a delivery system to convey God's message to humanity. And this angel's message to Ezekiel was God's word, prepared for a very stubborn-minded group of people. Ezekiel was to be faithful in delivering it, and even if they disobeyed, this message would stand as evidence to their stubbornness. I've always had a bit of stubborn in me. That may be why I developed a little deafness when it came to the use of my full name. It's not that I didn't pay a price for it. As I said, Mom never took me to the woodshed for correction, but she knew my father's full name, and he didn't hesitate to make sure I understood the importance of listening closely to what Mom had to say. It's no wonder I always thought of my dad as something of God's messenger in our house. For you today... Evidence of God's messages is all around us, in every part of creation and in every relationship and thought. Sometimes you just have to stand up and listen closely. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.